Cassie? Hey, Cassie? You know when the haters out there want you sleeping on the floor in the shelter? Yes, they do. They want that all the time. The haters want you to be sleeping on the floor, but then you get adopted by a hero, and you're sleeping in the bed right after. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! It's so cute how he looks like he's smiling. He's just like, oh, I'm so comfy. Thank you. So cute. <laughs> I love this. That is one happy doggy. I know, right? And even though my dog's really small, like I love sleeping with him in my bed. I just love it so much. Yeah, because cuddles are the best thing. Like Aren't top they? 10 best things. Especially yeah. with big dogs. Because it's like it's like this big warm guy who's like so happy to be in your bed with you. I love that. I, I want a doggy. You should get a doggy. Doggies are the spice of life. We have a mangy mutt here in a cage. Please adopt me, please. <laughs> Please. He's so sad looking. But look how good his hair is looking. And he's wearing a little bow tie after he gets his oh, dog. He looks amazing <laughs> after. He is I glowing. I love him. He's killing it. Can I adopt him? I want him, but I'm just so happy he's in a good home. The thing I've always thought was very interesting is like dogs emote very much like humans in a way. They do. You can tell that he's sad. You can tell from his posture that he's like not very confident in himself. And it's so sad. Yeah, that is exactly how I look like when I'm sad. <laughs> It is. I've seen you sad, and that is exactly how you look. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> but look at the after. He's like, he's sitting up straight. His ears are perked. He's like, <laughs> you can see the happiness. You can see that he has like a loving family now. <laughs> you can see from his eyes that like he's been through it, but like he's happy now and he's in a better place. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I wanted to give all these dogs hugs. I know, me too. I would die for these dogs. I love them so much. Oh, oh. Okay, so this little guy was found on the street, Azzy. He's a street dog. He was found on the street, and what the heck is that thing around him? Like, is that a rope? I can't tell if it's around him or if he's biting into it. I think it's around huh. him. Yeah, it, I think it is. It's very like, like that rope has diseases. He just looks very unsure of himself. He's an unsure little pupper. Yeah. It makes me sad. But you know what he needs? What? Some love. He does need some love. And he <laughs> got love, Azzy. Look at him. Look how happy. <laughs> His hair is fixed, that rope is gone. Thank God. Another cool thing too is like he's making eye contact after. So like you could tell that he like did not want to make eye contact before and after he like he's loving and he's opened his little dog heart. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I love his dog. So much. I get so mushy doing this. Me too. I'm just like <laughs> give them all to me. So this was a dog that lived in the streets. He's looking very mangy. He's looking very underweight. The poor little thing. I mean he looks like he's like still trying to live his yeah, best life. Yeah he still has his spirits. <laughs> he uh, does. His spirits are so high right? You know the world the world took a giant crap on this dog, but he didn't let it get him down. He's still smiling. He's still smiling. We should all be like this dog. <laughs> Honestly, I need to learn. I need to learn to be more like this dog. And then in the after, he is just, he's glowing. He's killing it. He gained some extra weight. We love that. He's a healthy eater. And look at that hairdo. Yeah, he looks great. Like, who's his stylist? <laughs> he looks like a different dog. Different dog, different life. I want to know what eye cream this dog is using, because he's looking fabulous. <laughs> 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 Give me some of that. It's so weird how like when a dog is malnourished, its coat looks like, I, I just didn't think that this dog had this coat in him, but he did. No, it looks like two different dogs. Like you right? would never assume it was the same dog, ever. Just goes to show if you take care of yourself and you take care of each other, you're gonna look super fly. Wait, so if I take care of myself, my hair will look like that too? Yes, it will. Whoa. Yeah, you'll get the salt I gotta peppers. eat more broccoli. <laughs> you do, you gotta eat more broccoli and you just gotta love yourself, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful, Cassie. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I try my best. This was a dog that was uh, living on the streets in Iran. He's looking kind of just me. It's so sad. The saddest dog. The saddest dog. Dogs shouldn't be sad. Like all dogs ever do is love their humans. I know. We bred them to love us, so we have to love them back. It's in the rules. Exactly. It's in the rules. It's in the book of rules. It's in the books. And then in his after, he's living in his new home. He's chilling in a pool, keeping cool. He looks so happy and like his coat is so big that he needs that pool now. Low-key jealous of the dog. <laughs> Me too. Low-key. Like he living better than <laughs> most humans. That's so true. But you know what? Dogs deserve it. They really do. They do. They do. <laughs> I love it. This is a wabbit. It's a wabbit, Azzy. I love rabbits. 
I'm obsessed with rabbits and like my childhood rabbit looked like this but lop-eared but anyways Violet was an Easter present to a young child the young child like didn't really want this rat like was excited at first but then got over it and then made this rabbit live in a cage like this is this why is you should never get someone an animal as a gift ever yeah no so true because they have to like really want it themselves yeah they have to think about it they have to like do the research like you can't just give a kid a rabbit for Easter what are you thinking and they don't actually poop chocolate but it looks like chocolate but don't eat it don't eat it no it's not chocolate <laughs> I know from experience <laughs> I actually know from experience but I'll tell you that story another time it's horrible worst day of my life but it is after Azzy he's a cage-free bunny now he sleeps in the bed he loves it and look at him he's just relaxing he's kicking those cute feet back so cute I'm obsessed oh I love him people who adopt these animals and treat them better are actually heroes like I could cry honestly not all heroes wear capes no that's true some wear collars so again with this dog you can tell that he's just like not very confident in himself he looks so scared and look how glossy his eyes look yeah like he looks like he's had a good cry he looks like he's just like watched the Mufasa scene of him dying in the Lion King and he's just eh. That's the worst. And look at him now. How is he looking so lush and like relaxed? And so peaceful. Yeah, peaceful. Homeboy just had a day at the spa. <laughs> his ears are perked up even though he's sleeping. Like look at his ears. Like I hate when dogs like when their ears go back because they're scared. Like I, I hate it. Where's Twinkie? Twinkie, get over here. Oh yeah. Oh well, this is what a happy tired dog looks like. No, oh, Twinkie! <laughs> Do you Tell like him I say hi. Hey Twinkie, as he says hi. He's tired, I should put him down. <laughs> He's like sunbathing right now, Twinkie's tanning. This is an interesting transformation because at first this dog like was very overweight and like couldn't walk very well without needing to rest. I've never seen a dog that overweight to be honest. It's kind of sad when people just fill up the bowls so they're full so they don't have to think about it. Like I really think that you should like portion your dog's food. 100% because they'll eat everything. <laughs> they will They will never I've, stop. I've seen dogs, they'll never stop. <laughs> Ever, they'll never stop. And then in his after, look at his glow up. Like he is able to walk and he's able to run. I mean, he still looks like kind of like- What are you looking at? Yeah, I mean, he's probably still a little overweight, but like, he looks so much better. He does. Like he looks healthier. He looks like his joints are not having such a hard time. Oh, and this poor doggy. I'm like a dog. I also have no self-control. You can't put too much food in front of me. <laughs> Same. I have to be like, okay, like you're full. Like stop. Have you ever been to the pound and seen like just a dog that just like wants love so bad, but is like kind of unsure of itself? Oh, like this one. Yeah, like this little guy. This guy looks exactly like my first dog. And the first time I went to the pound, like he was just like sitting in the back of his cage and he was like, I want love, but I don't know if I deserve it. And I was like, you deserve all of it. I think my heart would break. I need to go adopt dogs after this. Can we go? I don't know where you actually buy dogs <laughs> or, or get them or adopt them. I don't know. Well, the pound is a good place to start. Is it the pound where they like put the dogs that don't, people don't want? The pound historically is like where they capture strays and like put them there or like oh. usually they're called like a shelter. So it's like dogs yeah. who like aren't wanted are put there and uh, they need to be adopted like quickly. So sad. They need to be. I yeah. just love the ones that are happy and found a new home. Oh. And this is him after and he's so confident now and he's got another dog friend. I love that. On his way home from the shelter, dogs love looking out of windows, okay? And they love sticking their heads out. And he's like, I'm not sure what the future holds. Will it be comfortable? I don't know if I trust anyone. He's scared. He looks scared. And like, that's the sad thing is because he's a, he's like an older dog, right? And like, yeah. so he's probably like been through it. He's like, where are they taking me? To another cage? Oh, I <laughs> see. And then in his after, he's chilling. He's lounging on the couch. He's like, this is my couch. How you doing? I was worried for no reason. Oh, thank goodness he was worried for no reason. Oh, I love German Shepherds. I always want to pet them when I see them with police and then Jordy's always like, no, don't, <laughs> that's not allowed. And he has to like physically hold me back. And I'm like, but it's so cute. He's like, that thing will kill you. And also like, we're not supposed to touch like working dogs and it like makes yeah. me sad. It's like, I just want to touch them so bad because they're so cute. I know, but do they get love? Oh, they get so much love. They get so much love, but like not in public because in public uh, they're working. They know the difference. Yeah, he's just, he's at his shift in work when he's in public. Oh, look how worried this guy is. Oh, I'm so scared for him. <laughs> he's so worried. Oh my, okay, I would adopt this guy pronto. This is why I yeah. can't go to animal shelters because I will I will buy him. I can't, I can't. All not. of them. How do you not? I just love his eyes. Like they're just so like full of, are you sure? So puppy doggy like. Yeah. It's the look that I wish I could make when mm. Terry's like, no, you can't have that. I tried making it, but it wasn't cute. <laughs> Sorry. When I do it, it's like, 
It's like not cute. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, camera. Sorry, everyone in the comments. And then after he's laying on his back because he trusts where he is and like the fans, well, the fans not glowing, but it could be. He's laying on his back and he's just like, oh, okay. This one might be too sad. No one wanted to adopt this guy because of his cropped ears. Oh, some jerk cut this dog's ears. Oh, he was abused. He was treated like poo poo and no one wanted to adopt him because he was a lot older. That's he's so like, sad. He's like, like, you can see it in his, like, his eyebrows. He's just like, he looks, so, he's just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. This oh. is breaking my heart. I know. I'm sorry, Hazzy. I'm so sorry. But look, in the after, look how happy he, like, you can tell. Like, it's night and day. This is the face of a dog who is loved and cherished. And its name is Bronco, and everybody who meets Bronco loves Bronco. Bronco, <laughs> I love that name. It's such a cute name for a dog. Oh, I'm so happy for Bronco. So this was a little stray puppy, and it was very underfed. The poor thing, he looks so weak. I feel so bad. I, well, dogs aren't really made for like fending on their own, you know? No, especially the ones that we like heavily domesticate. Like this guy, he needed love. He just needed love and some food and a warm house. Yeah. You know, my, my cat's a stray cat. Really? Be, like rescued? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You need to send me pics. I've never seen your cat. You've never seen my cat? No, I've never seen I didn't even know like when you talk about how you have a cat, I'm like, huh? It's like a black cat with green eyes. <gasps> oh. Yeah, his name is Zorro because we adopted him in Spain. You know Zorro is like a Spanish name. Zorro. Yeah, and in Spain there's just like so many stray animals on the street and we just like felt bad and took one home with us. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> and he has cat AIDS. Cat AIDS? Yeah, FIV. He's not allowed to see other cats because he can give them FIV, but also he can get sick. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet that you still took him in. Yeah. <laughs> How adorable. So this guy was a skinny guy, and then this is him now. Look at him. He had a good bowl of food, a good amount of cuddles, and he's just chilling. And he goes on car rides with him. I love that. We love that. This is the cutest thing ever. I mean, it's like sad, but it's also like kind of cute. How shy and reserved this dog was. Like, he's just hiding behind the fold, like, hey, like, are you good? Oh, my dogs are usually so playful. He's not down for the pets. Right? I've seen so many dogs like this that, like, they walk up to you and they, like, look at you like this because they want you to pet them and then you reach your arm out and they're like, no, 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 no. Look at him after. He's so confident. He's walking with his head held high. I love it. He's strutting. He's running. He's playing fetch. He's doing all the dog things. He's a good dirt. What a difference one day can make. He's sad and now he's glad. This is in one day. I've never day. seen a dog smile like that. <laughs> oh, this one is so big. It's so cute. I'm trying to do it, but my mouth will stretch that big. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Oh, oh, this guy's name is Rupert. Oh. He's Rupert. so sad. He's like chilling. He's sad. You can like, you can just tell. You, his neck is down and he's like, is today going to be the day? And guess what? Today was the day and he looks like a new woman now. He's a new woman. <laughs> Look how bad his fur looked before. It looked awful. It looks, it looks dry. And oh. patchy. Well, he got all the creams he needed. Oh. This dog's name is Zelda. <laughs> this is what six months can do. He's very shy, very reserved, very untrusting. Ears are kind of down. He's just, you could just tell he just doesn't have that confidence that he needs. Yeah. And now he has the confidence, finally, that he's always needed. So cute. He looks like a little cartoon dog. You he know? does. He looks like a Scooby Doo. Like so computer. animated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Look at this smile. He's like sat in a cage. He lived in a cage before, and now he's smiling, holding his stuffed animal, going, yeah, we out here. Oh, doggy. <laughs> Adorable doggy. This is like my favorite thing to do, is to like look at these pictures. I just love a happy ending. Me too. A real life Disney story. In Indeed. Azzy, thank you so much for looking at before and after adoption photos with me. I don't know why I wanted to do it. Like, it makes you sad, but it also warms your heart. No, it makes me happy because it's a good story at the end. You know, there's people who restore your faith in humanity. That is very true. Well, thanks for stopping by. We did some riddles over on Azzy's channel, so go check that out. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.